Hi there, this is Elena and today's vlog is about my summer trip to Los Angeles. Stay with me and I will show you the places that amazed me and some of the most iconic spots in LA. We departed from Atlanta International Airport and in four hours landed in Los Angeles, rented a car with Hertz and went straight to the hotel, the Western Bonaventure Hotel and Suites, which is located downtown. Hello, hello! This is my first day in Los Angeles and it looks like a beautiful day to start exploring this big city. After we checked in, my husband stayed at the hotel and I explored the nearest surroundings and took many photos. Although downtown is not a very touristic place in Los Angeles compared to New York, I enjoyed it, especially all the tall buildings. I find them especially attractive and interesting as a subject for a photo. At the end of my walk, I visited the Los Angeles Central Library. I love books and libraries, so I couldn't miss this one. Inside it's nicely organized and on the second floor there is an impressive drawing on the walls and ceiling. Artistic elements are everywhere around the library. Downtown LA is not only tall buildings and cars, but also about greenery, flowers and parks. I love walking, and when I travel, I try to explore a new city mainly walking. This way I can see details that I would otherwise miss. Those details add something special to a character of a city. For example, I like this monument and drawing that was painted on an electric box. One of the first things I noticed walking around the streets of LA is that only a few people are walking around compared to New York, which is buzzing with active walkers. Taking photos, recording videos and slowly wandering around, I found myself in the park near City Hall with a cord of historic flags that looked very impressive. After that, I visited Grand Park, just a few minutes away, had a strawberry frappuccino in Starbucks and continued exploring Los Angeles. Are you liking the video? Wonderful! Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is Walt Disney Concert Hall, one of my favorite buildings I've seen during my six days in Los Angeles. It was designed by Frank Gehry and opened in 2003. It's the home to Los Angeles Philharmonic Orchestra, presenting its best in classical, contemporary and world music. And it's also one of the most acoustically sophisticated concert halls in the world. The building itself is considered an international landmark. Later on that day, while walking back to the hotel, I saw a bronze sculpture, Peace on Earth. It stands near Amazon Theatre, whose entrance is decorated with a fountain, a nice, refreshing spot in the hot climate of LA. The next day we went to see Griffith Observatory. This is one of the spots in LA where you can see the Hollywood sign. Observatory, where you can see an amazing view of Los Angeles.
We didn't intend on going inside, but we enjoyed walking around, looking at the different installations, and remembering names of famous scientists whose work was related to astronomy. Later the same day, we drove to Santa Monica Pier, one of the most iconic touristic spots near LA. It's crowded and noisy, but also fun to walk around, enjoy people watching and see the life of locals. Gorgeous, tall palm trees are one of the symbols of California. I loved observing and taking photos of them, especially on a sunset with a soft, warm light. On one of the days during our trip to Los Angeles, we stopped by the University of California, Los Angeles. While walking around, listening to my husband's stories about his student years in California, I connected a little more with the local lifestyle. Thank you for watching and if you liked this video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. More interesting videos are on the way.